And another top story we are tracking for you tonight. Bird flu found in Kansas cattle for the first time. The virus is not affecting milk or cheese products on store shelves. They are pasteurized, which inactivates the virus. Case and Zena Taher tells us even though it is not uh, affecting food, the virus does have dairy farmers concerned. Zena? Yeah, Jeff, Julia, right now the virus has been found in two dairy farms in Kansas and one in Texas. It typically causes cows to eat less and produce less milk. But the USDA says it has not affected herds the same way avian flu has in chickens. Since finding out Tuesday morning about bird flu detected in Kansas cattle, Grazing Plains farm owner Jason Schmidt has been worried. As soon as I heard that it was crossing into cows, um, into dairy cows, it's like, oh boy, that's that's my industry, and I know there's going to be uh, some fallout probably from that. Schmidt says as a dairy farmer, he raises his cattle from birth. His initial concern was whether he would need to put down cattle exposed to the virus to stop the spread. According to the Kansas Department of Agriculture, that's not likely. Just because it's the same virus that we're seeing in our in our poultry and our bird populations is that we are, it is a different response. Animal Health Commissioner Justin Smith says bird flu isn't believed to spread cow to cow, so exterminating cattle wouldn't help contain the disease. At this point in time, there will be no call for any kind of a quarantines or any kind of a depopulation in, in our ruminant and our cattle populations. The USDA says livestock appear to recover on their own with Within seven to ten days. Smith says dairy farmers are asked to immediately report to a veterinarian if a cow is showing symptoms or if a dead bird is on their property. Schmidt reiterates the milk supply is safe. The USDA requires milk come from only healthy animals and the pasteurization process kills any virus or bacteria. Here for you, Zena Talher, KSN News 3. Zena, thank you. Going in depth, the USDA says 158 wild bird samples in Kansas tested positive for bird flu since 2022. In terms of commercial birds, the flu affected 11 commercial and 20 backyard flocks, affecting nearly 1.9 million birds.